Hello and welcome back. I'm so sorry the last video just broke away or actually the live stream just broke away because my internet connection was just uh, thinking about hey by the way I just don't like to do something over here. So uh, I'm not sure where the last one has basically ended so the last streams uh, since I haven't checked this one so far. However uh, let's go and continue. So once again I made my I made my way to Tapas and went to the, the to the general store. And then here I was able to buy a minnow net. And this minnow net can be used for fishing. For example, when we go to the crabland fields over here, we can say, okay, we can go fish for minnows. And minnows are going to be the smallest fish over here. And uh, meanwhile, we are fishing. We can, of course, go back to the tapas or after we are done with that. And we can go back to the general store and once again sell all minnows we can find. By the way, there should be also something called called a knife but this is only a carving knife where we can carve uh, wood basically to get even more coins even more gold whatever you will name it so what we now need to do is we need to make sure that we get a huge amount of um, yeah, money actually to get uh, further into all of the story as well as get in our first gnome which is for example able to help us in chopping wood or do anything else. Also later on we're gonna get even deeper inside of that and we are able to you know um to um yeah to to increase all our skills we are currently actually working on to. So as you can see in Quebland Woods, for example, here's a battlefield and we can go through that and basically battle against monsters to gain specific drops. For example, we can drop uh, yeah, weapons, we can drop tools, we can drop money bags and all the other stuff. And just meanwhile, we are going and uh, keep on increasing all our things. So what I want to do is at first, I want to make sure that I go and enter the cave over here from the mount or lower mount quapple trail. So when I do this, I'm gonna unlock the next one, which is going to be the quapple cave, which has a quapple cave entrance. So as you can see, whenever we are going and stepping into this, we have the possibility to take different passes and find a river lake, for example. So when we are, for example, go to the wet pass, it tells us, oh, we can now go west and east. So let's assume we go, let's say west first, west another one, then north and continue. And what we now find is you could smith ore over here. That means we found a smithy where we can create copper bars, for example, tin bars and so on and so forth. But of course we need to grab ore before we are able to to get yeah to to make any of these so from copper we can make like a copper knife and all the other things which we are going to make use of later on like a lot of weapons tools and pieces like arrow hats for later on creating bows and stuff like this so what we also want to make sure is that we are able to head north through the trees over here later on, as well as we want to make sure that we are continue up the trail, which we can now go and climb or continue around the mountain. Basically, it doesn't really matter. If we are doing the first one, we are finding a wind hall. And when we're going to enter the courtyard over here, we can do alchemy over here so we can put on an, a copper bar in something uh, which is of a specific element and we can actually alchemy this together and probably get other bars out of it so and this is going to land over here inside the alchemy tab like all the experience for this so with that out of the way, there are in total four alchemy places like four different um, yeah, of these of these uh, courtyards or wine hall. There's a fire hall, a I guess an earth hall, and something else. And on that, we can uh, later on do the alchemy. But alchemy at the very beginning is just not important. So I also want to make sure that all these green dots over here with these numbers, this is what we can can do later on. I want to make sure that I try them out. And also, as you can see, when we are traveling along the path, we're gonna go into a large swamp and the 
swamp is also another interesting uh, stuff for us later on. So we can also talk to the traveler and to say, beyond here is a great swamp, you won't make it to the other side without knowledge of somebody who ha already has that knowledge. Apparently a guy from Uragotha town made it out alive, but he's crazy now. So whenever we are reaching this town later on, we are able you know, to get all the information. So we can continue to this. And what we can gather here is rice for later on creating Zushi, as well as entering the woods. So we can now scroll down a bit with the mouse wheel over here. There's also this little bar on the side where we can actually check it out. So we have now the swampland unlocked where we can hunt when we have a bow. This is just a one yeah, idle part over here. And we can go to the swamp wood. And there we can battle, actually, as well as we can try to make our way through the lost swamp. And this lost swamp, once again, is rather simple to pass by whenever we have the directions we need to go. And when you're looking into the chat, there will be always helpful people, which you can ask, of course, for the solution. Or you go to the docs document, which I linked down below in the description, where you're going to find all the resources and all that stuff, as well as also the riddle for the lost swamp. So what he here is going to be, we're going to need to head this way and now we're going to have to do some walks through to through this, yet yeah, through this complete swamp. Basically, the swamp is not so super important at the moment, but since we need some coins and of course we need some uh, skills beforehand as well to, for example, increase our free spaces in the inventory and so on and so forth. So... What we would do is probably we're going to equip our stone axe at the very beginning, go to the Quapland uh, fields and chop some pine. And once we are full with the inventory, we go back to the town and bring or sell everything we don't need to. We keep the coins always with us or we can also bank them, doesn't really matter. It's just one field or even not one field, I guess, which is going to be taken. I'm not quite sure yet. However, this is, as you can see, increasing our wood cutting skill quite fast because per wood pine log when we are wood cutting we get 8 exp also how much wood is giving you what exp is you can read this by a hover over or once again go to the document which other player has uh, yeah pulled together late, uh, yeah, early on so we go back to capas uh, or tapas general store and sell everything we're going to have over here and of course, what we are doing, we're going to keep on going and chop some wood for the beginning. So we're going to have some coins we can take with us. And later on, we're going to be able to probably buy some other yeah, tools to get even further into the game. Also, when we are able to make our first knife or get our hands to the first copper knife, we are able to go into the swamp and of course level knife and sometimes uh, HP skill and stuff like that. Meanwhile, we are fighting enemies which are dropping way better nets to get even further into the uh, fishing tools because fishing is the most effective way to get money in the very beginning and overall in the complete game. So I'm gonna sell all my all my logs over here and I go back to this fields and for example I can also go and do some fishing meanwhile doing so once again I can select fishing over here and can see okay the next best thing I can fish already is the puffer fish so now we need to find a pond where a puffer fish is going to be inside so we can probably earn more exp same for sunfish later on for angry crab icefish scallop and so on and so forth until you make or we gonna make our way to tuna since tuna is the best and fastest way i guess uh, to get a huge amount of money in a short amount of time of course it requires us to get a better net like a small medium or even large probably super luckily getting a magic one but i don't think so since well i was trying that quite some time so now I can keep on going. I can keep on uh, selling stuff with this. Uh, I can even fight with the stone axe to get more experience in using uh, the stone axe and so on and so forth. So also in Quapple Cave later on, we're going to need some other skills to make it further into it and get a copper ore, um, a copper ore field or mine 
mining place and all the other things. There are also iron places and tin places, which we can make use of later on as well. So battling is basically, we're gonna go find a battle, find a bandit and start the battle. And since we have currently equipped our axe, we're gonna do damage with the axe. Don't fear, the first hundred fights, even less maybe, you're gonna die. And meanwhile we are taking damage, our HP experience is going to grow. So as you can see, you die to bandit and this is absolutely okay and you don't lose anything at the moment this is absolutely important that you're gonna get all these infos because you're gonna grow in strengths you're gonna grow in deftness as well as whatever the weapon is you're using you're gonna increase for example in this case the axemanship as well once again you have to die several times over here but dying in this case is not bad as especially not in the beginning later on it is maybe not too cool when you have forgot to equip something but as you can see i won once now i got three bark in total already and you can also read what you're going to do. And of course, you die to wild boar. Once again, if you want to heal up yourself, you can pick the... Um, what was it called? Uh, one of these flowers. I don't know what, what the name was. We're going to check them out in a second. Where we can actually heal ourselves. Like for now, I have a 25 or 50. I... And when I search for something, I just look through and see where I can go. Oh, by the way, here's the first ore we can, or mine, uh, mining field, where we can find randomly places to mine copper, not and even uh, iron and anything else, just to get a copper knife, for example. And since we found the smithy already, we can do this rather soon as well. I just want to see where it was over here. We can uh, grab some berries if we like to. So I grabbed like a three, four, five, six, you know, this is not too, too fancy. And when I eat those, I gonna get over a couple of seconds, I get some HP back. And I can e eat even more and still get some HP back. Also, it will increase my deafness plus two for the time this is going to be active, as well as I earn some experience in HP with eating stuff as well. And it doesn't matter what you eat. Um, it will always increase your HP by different amounts, of course, depending on what you eat, as well as you're gonna earn experience, even if you're not hurt. You can see that pretty quick i'm not hurt but i still get exp for that to increase sooner or later your hp level to a higher one this is going to take the most time of year since you need like 114,922 experience for hp uh, level up so keep that in mind okay so without all of that out of the way we're gonna need to find a pickaxe or something like that to, to mine our first ore or we're gonna uh, probably find some over here there we go there is a stone pickaxe and i can buy this for one gold as you can see for one money i can take this pickaxe right now equip it and i can go to the lower mount Quepel trail over here and find an ore vein this is going to be the first ore vein we're gonna take a look into and now what I can do is I found a copper ore and I can mine this. So now I'm gonna earn copper ore which I can go and put into the smithy and make some copper um, bars out of it. This is going to be rather... Uh, actually the picking at the moment is rather how shall I say, idle based, uh, as long as you have some free spaces over here. When you have no free spaces left, of course, you're going to lose... Um you're gonna uh, lose this auto battle or auto containing or grabbing at the moment but later on this will all be better whenever we have somebody who's picking up the stuff for us and bring it into the bank like for example there's a dwarf we can get to bring all our copper ore for example into the bank and we can unlimited basically unlimited grab more ore and also what you can see, meanwhile I'm mining, of course my mining level increases. And meanwhile you increase your mining level, of course you unlock the next ore you can take care of. Like you can chop or uh, actually mine the tin ore now. 
Later on, you're going to unlock the Calamine, of course, the Iron Ore, and so on. So as you can see, my inventory space is now uh, actually already uh, 33 spaces instead of 30. So this is going to increase with all your skills you're going to add up over the time. I now make my way to the smithy. And of course, I make myself a copper bar. I put this into the furnace. Then I'm going to remove it. And then I can create a copper knife. So I want to make a use of this copper knife because I'm going to withdraw this one because I want to fight. So with copper knives, knives are the fastest weapons. You can increase your deftness rather, rather fast as well as some of the, your strengths. Meanwhile, fighting through the uh, swamp, for example, to grab uh, or in this case uh, through the cave uh, to grab a better net. Let's try that out. We're going to go into the Quapple Cave entrance and we need to find the river place. And I believe it's somewhere somewhere over here. I could check now the uh, the route inside the documents. Once again, I link them down in the description. So I believe we need to go west two times in the north. Nope, that was the smithy actually. Gonna need to retry. I guess it was maybe it was east, then straight, then west. And this is for mining level 40, though, so this is not the correct one. Maybe we're gonna two times east over here. We find a gnome which cost, as you can see, 280,000 coins, which you need to or for wood cutting uh, up to level 75 but we don't care about this gnome at the moment so once again we go back to the entrance and find or try to find anyhow the way as another gnome in total there are three gnomes by the way in here and we try to find our way into um this into the river so in east, this guy in west is a dead end. So I need to go and check this out. Once again, if you like to, you can always check the resources guide. I'm going to bring this onto the screen pretty quick. So I can check this one out. There is like where is what located and all that stuff. And there's also everything like a route through the Quapple uh, cave over here. So what we want to find is, well, where is it? We want to find the lake. So there's a hunting area. Here's the river. So what we need to take is the wet pass. Then we need to take the west and then probably the north. And we should hit the Quapple River. Also, there's a nice map done by the, uh, some other people over here. So check this out. If you want to find something specific, you're going to find it over here in this particular one. Okay, so... Back to the Quapple one, I'm going to take the wet, then I believe it was west, north, and now you can see this would be a great place to fish. So we can fish over here, but also we can battle over here. And this is now the cool thing, we can uh, take our copper knife over here and start the battle. We can once again find the battle and almost all creatures over here have the possibility to drop nets, which are better than the minnow net. So. Meanwhile, we are fighting over here. We probably sooner or later die like a hundred times or not. It depends, of course, of our knife, knife manship and, of course, the copper knife or whatever knife we are using. We are able to... Uh, at the moment, we are not able to automate the fights, but as you can see, manfish, they can drop better nets, like small nets, medium nets, and uh, large nets. And same for the other ones, which is going to be called fish man. And there's another one, which is going to be called... Um, uh, what is he called? Yeah, Manfish and Fishman and Kappa. So these three, at least, are doing the drops. So my inventory is full, so I'm gonna bring my... I bring my stuff into the general store, which I don't need. So I don't need bark. I don't need the berries. Uh, they just, uh, yeah, are not cool and not nice to have. Also, what you want to make sure is that you probably bring all your ores into your bank. So everything which you have pick up, picked up and so on. And all you don't need, like stone pickaxe and all the other stuff, you probably want to bank all of that. Since you may or you will later on make use of those so i'm gonna also put in this uh, currently i don't want to go and fish so i can have my free spaces rather organized over here and can go forward so once again i go back to the capital where uh 
river over here and try to find a better net. So once again, they are dropped from Manfish, Fishman and Kappa. And there are also, uh, there's another space where you can find the same people or the same enemies basically which are able to drop this so and we can continue now fishman once again he is also capable to drop some nets you're gonna get defeated often so no worries about that you will be stronger soon also you can see your deftness increases there are slimes which are dropping stones and stuff like that, which is not necessary at the moment. Same for uh, these evil snails. You don't need them, basically. And if you see something you don't like, especially in the beginning when you don't have the auto fight over here, then you can also go find a battle. And if you don't like it, you can find another battle again. And that is what you're going to do like at the first a yeah, couple of minutes i would say so once again if you don't like that uh, snail then you don't need this if you find something to eat like the mineral eat it because it will heal you up and give you more hp experience this is important of course because you want to heal up also you can increase your stats over time or for a specific amount of time and you can keep on going fighting and you can Sooner or later, one hit KO all these enemies without any problems, especially when you have like higher skills and so on. So once again, I can decide any time I like to, to grab other enemies. As you can see, I'm almost, oh, almost able to one hit KO the fishman. I can one hit already the evil snail. Now I can also one hit KO the fish man, but not the man fish, because he is not, uh, yeah, actually, we cannot hit him good with our knife. Later on we can, when our level is high enough. But uh, the man fish are, I believe you can make use of a stone axe if you like to and have to, to get um, more damage to him. Hi, Gatry. Thanks a lot for tuning in. So if you have any questions about the game, of course, feel free to ask or check the description below about the resources uh, documents once again, which is shared and created by other players here as well. I'm going to keep on going and uh, play the game. Well, yeah, Epic War Saga was fantastic. I mean, a lot of stuff is, uh, or actually the game is kind of dead, so I decided to, at the moment, not create more content for Epic War Saga. Uh, since I don't have the feeling a lot of people will play this in the future, and probably there are more uh, games, more different games later on coming out for that. So I decided to play something different today. In that case, this nice one over here, which is called Quebland, as you probably have seen already in the title of the stream. So, and yeah, we're gonna go on, continue fighting these guys over here, or these enemies, until our spaces are full again. Also, once again, keep on going and eat what you can eat, night, like all the rolls. They're gonna help you boost your things over here. Also, you can see my knifemanship already is level 18, so this is going to become better and better, faster and faster over the time meanwhile you're battling through so once again the small ones are going to be dead or can die rather quick later on whenever we are done with fighting all of that stuff over here we can keep on going and go fishing because i want to have at least a small rather a medium or even better a large net this can take some time until you get one so once again you can get them from fishman not from slime but also not from evil snail but we can find anything else over there and as you can see the faster or the better your skills are becoming the faster you can just get rid of them as you can also see strength does not increase much over here with my knife or at least nothing because deftness is the one we are currently after basically and also since we have equipped a knife we do not uh, power up strengths but strengths makes sure that we're gonna get more free spaces so probably at a time we might want to think about getting uh, rid of the copper knife in this case and increase the strengths of us by using for example a hammer or a axe i guess or was it a sword no i believe it is a hammer 
So in this case, we can go to the smithy and create a copper hammer and just try it out, right? So, and that's, yeah, that's what you want to do over here. You want to just go keep on straight, farming this one down until your inventory is full. I mean, at the beginning, you don't have much choice over here anyways. And later on, whenever this let's say this part becomes a bit easier because you know you got more uh, or better items and so on and so forth you're gonna automate things like this fighting later on as well but we need to have at least 100,000 gold and we need to pass through uh, different areas before we are able to find a gnome or whatever character who is able to help us with that so also we're gonna have like 171 gold already once again also you can see the auto battle uh, button is kind of grayed out so we probably come back later on anyway and we will because we want to find some uh, better nets anyways so because yeah we have to so once again you can select 100 times this find battle until you find a battle which probably matches your needs i gonna eat another sunfish roll over here i recommend let tick down this complete timer over here until this is completely zeroed out so you don't waste anything because if you eat another one it will be overwritten so the currently one will be over overwritten by the one which you're currently eating which is bad since you're gonna lose quite some you know um yeah quite some uh, good experience for your hp once again it's not about uh, the HP in the long run because you're gonna make sure HP is always full or since you're pretty yeah pretty fast with the copper knife rather quick as you can see we can basically hit down everything we like to we're gonna make use of them extremely fast so I want to try to defeat some uh, more fishmen um, uh, I try to as well as the man fish over here probably as well i need some hits and now my it says my inventory is full so i couldn't pick up whatever i sh yeah could so i go to tapas or tapas once again and for yeah, actually sell everything i don't need over here i don't need the stones i can also get rid of all these rolls you can eat one or the other meanwhile you are taking care of that you're selling the rest again this is the decision you have to make on your own as always so and now we can keep on going with fighting stuff so let me check something out i want to go and get one of my copper ore then i want to go to the smithy and i want to make myself a hammer in this case a copper hammer so and probably it is set whenever we uh, equip that and fight with it so we're gonna make way more damage in total as you can see but we are slower in uh, doing a hit but we increase increase our strengths to get more free spaces so I equip this now go back to the Quapel cave river and try to battle whatever is coming over here and we should one hit KO them hopefully sooner or later as well but we also meanwhile we are trying so we're gonna uh, yeah lose some health over here because uh, hammers uh, very in the beginning are bad also now i leveled up in strength as you can see i increased my free space to 34. what does that mean is of course whenever we level our strengths we're gonna make sure we get more free space inside of our inventory that's great to know right so also we're gonna increase our hammer ship hammer ship later on is even faster leveled uh, on uh, different places there's one specific one where it's a rather huge enemy where we can uh, put your our hammer onto and who's giving us quite some um yeah quite some experience how does the experience work is rather simple we're gonna make uh, damage with the hammer and whatever the amount of damage we are doing this is going to be the exp we're gonna earn so and this is how you're gonna earn exp for everything like hammership axemanship swordmanship and the knifemanship over here as well as you can see 
sometimes it's not uh, or especially in the beginning whenever you're starting out with one of these it's going to take quite some time to get very effective over here also you're gonna die a lot once again do a throw i don't have any rolls at the moment uh, but this is not too bad at all because i get hp experience for this as well once again when you get some mineral rolls or whatever then just eat them to heal up yourself you can always try to get even more later on you can also make your own sushi um, if you like to but at the start at the very very start it is not really recommended to go into this which would be by the way culinary arts you can always once again select it and see what you can do with that so you need to create rice rolls first to do something different so i'm about to die no problem with that uh, sadly, I cannot get a drop whenever I die, of course, but shouldn't be a problem later on or on the long run. Sometimes you one hit, once again, one hit KO these guys, or one day you will. Once again, the hammer is quite slow, and that's why it takes quite some time to get into it, as well as, uh, yeah, you most of the time uh, get some damage over here. So now I died to the fishman. Nothing fancy for that, once again, because I gonna earn strength. Meanwhile, I fight with the hammer to increase my free space. This is important. We need free space so we can later on, of course, uh, go fishing longer and can do anything else longer as well over here. So, and that's how you can start your journey through Quebland. And um, you can later on, once again, automate things like, for example, you can go automatically woodcutting. Let one of your gnomes, whenever you have like a good amount of money, I believe the first gnome is worth a thousand coins. You can bring or take this guy with you as a follower. And then he's going to take care whenever you're chopping a wood, he's taking that to the bank. And later on, you can sell everything you banked up. So you can, once again, keep on going playing the game and increase the value by that so i can now eat the mineral roll here again because i dropped it or got it from one drop i still have no net no newer net so this is what you want to do over here you want to find yourself a better net at as soon as you can to increase your fishing value as well as meanwhile you are doing so you want to level up your strengths so you probably end up with I don't know, maybe something like level 30, 40, 50 later on. 50 is going to be the one you want to aim for anyways, because you need 50 at least uh, later on in the game. And you just keep on clicking, destroy everything which is going to be on your way. And uh, here once, once you have no free space anymore, of course, you sell everything you just got from the drops. And this is how you increase your own value in this case. Once again, take the hammer to maybe at least level 30 over here. Now you have seen I increase the strength by one level again. So I have now 51 free spaces and I keep, can keep on going with that. So for quite some time, you might want to make use of the hammer to increase your inventory space. So your bank, by the way, is has unlimited space at the moment. I believe so. You're gonna have no problems into um, uh, storing thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, different items over there. Like whenever you later start to out of fish, that you're uh, making sure you have enough space. Of course, this is not needed because once again the bank is unlimited big, and you can actually go and bring everything into this so i believe we're gonna start to get our next follower soon so probably we're gonna chop some more wood i'm not quite sure if i will or that will increase my axemanship but i guess and um we can i can try this one out of course and of course we can uh, whenever we are chopping this wood we can by the way also get automatically or almost automatically get the next X, I believe, from uh, yeah, doing some damage to uh, the woods, and well as we can also go and get some copper ore from our bank account where we we already got some copper and make uh, a copper X. Maybe I'm not quite sure yet if there is one, but we're gonna we're gonna know soon, and uh, this will increase our value in chopping wood. 
Okay, so sometimes this scrolling inside this uh, window here is quite strange because there are so many scroll bars involved. And what I will do now is I go to Tapas pretty quick and uh, to the general store, of course, and I can eat one of these rolls over here and sell the rest. Like the stones, once again, you can take the tin ore with you, but you don't necessarily have to. If it's just one, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we're going to get rid of these as well. So I'm close to 1000 of, uh, yeah, of gold. So I can almost get the first chopping dude, which is going to help us with chopping wood. So, uh, but for that, we're going to need to go to our bank first. I'm going to grab my... My stone axe, equip it. So once again, I have a gather efficiency over here with that. But we can also say, okay, we're going to pick one copper and go to the smithy and see if whenever we are making a copper ore bar over here, we're going to make sure that we're going to get a copper axe because the copper axe, of course, is better in case of efficiency, as you can see, than the stone axe. So we can actually take the copper axe with us and sell the stone axe because we don't need the stone axe anymore. I just sell it and we are good to go. So now we have everything out of copper, like a copper hammer, copper axe, copper knife. And there's also one or two more things we might think about getting later on. Same for the carving knife. Later on, we need to buy this one. We can also do this already. We can do this anytime. Doesn't really matter. And now, since we are able to, once again, woodcut bells or locks, we can also get those. But the first one, most of these are going to be better in EXP. Other ones are going to be better in case of getting money. So when I chop that, I gonna check out if we are increasing strength. Meanwhile, we are chopping wood. But as you can see, strength is not increasing. Same for axemanship. As you can see, this is not increasing as well. We just increase our value in case of wood cutting until, once again, we are reaching level 8 to get poplar locks, which are worth more, give you more EXP, and so on and so forth. And as you can see, with a way bigger space now in case of inventory, we're going to be able to store even more pine locks and take them with us. It takes longer until our inventory is completely full and we can get way more out of it in the long run. And so we can increase all of our skills meanwhile we are working on stuff like that. We can also meanwhile or after that take all this pine logs and make woodworking with these pine logs to get even more value in the end as well as increase woodworking. Let's still do this because I want to show it to you. And whatever we gain afterwards, we can also sell for coins, no problem. So we go to Tapas General Store and get a carving knife. Just one, more than enough. So what you now do is in your inventory, you go, I'm going to go to somewhere else. Uh, so the inventory is not so uh, unorganized, I would say. And what we can now do is, wherever I have this car carving knife now. Oh, I didn't have any inventory space. So I need to uh, sell at least one of these and try again. So I have the carving knife right now. I go here into the fields or wherever. And now I can take the carving knife, use it, and I'll use it over here like on pine art carving arrow shafts, uh, which is actually only available from level 3 carving as well as making pine bows. So there are differences in case of experience. I'm gonna do one carving over here so you're gonna see this. I'm gonna make one pine wood so you're gonna see this as well. And we're gonna cancel the carving now. So the difference is, as you can see, bow pine, uh, pine bow or white pine bow gives you 20 EXP and the carving gives you 10 EXP. But when you go to the shop, like the Tapas General Store, you can see the value. This sells for one each but this for two. So you always can worry or have to worry about if you want to sell it for more, like if you want to get more gold in the end, or do you want to get more EXP in the end? So there's always that what you need to, or that is what you actually want to check out like all of the time. Do you want to get more money in the end or do you want to get more experience in the end? So I want to get more money in the end at the moment. So I'm gonna uh, use my carving knife and make some art carving. I guess this one was the one which give me more gold in the end. So whenever we are selling all of these. 
So we now take all our pine logs and make carvings out of them. And whenever we are done with that carvings, we're going to be able to uh, do even more. And the good thing about all of that is meanwhile you carve, you can, for example, later on also go and do fishing, I guess, or do something else. Well, fishing not at the moment, but you can hunt later on or battle whenever you have the auto battle gnome on your side. So, and this is once again uh, giving you some good idea, hopefully, um, how you get started in uh, this game. Also, now I'm done with uh, putting all of that stuff together, like uh, carving that stuff together. I'm going to sell all of these, also the pine bow over here. And now I can go back and chop even more wood to once again increase my woodcutting skill as well as my woodworking skill. And as you can see, currently I can also already put some copper arrow tips together with that skill as well as do some balsa um, arrows over here and so on and so forth so since i cannot do kepler or pop poplar art carving over here we're gonna make sure that we want to increase wood working also to at least level eight meaning at first we need to go back and chop more of the pine woods over here to get even more pine logs and so on and so forth so we're gonna keep on going by the way when you're selling or when you want to sell that white pine logs you also only get one coin instead of two so for the first money you afford like the first a thousand coins points over here you want to mix and match whatever you think is going to be helpful for you later on you need to invest time into woodworking no matter what same for wood cutting is going to be interesting later on as well as oh you need to have i believe uh the swordmanship needs to be level 50 or 55 later on as well as you need quite some strengths for creating or increasing your free spaces in the inventory so keep on going keep on chopping wood until you make your levels a throw once again when wood cutting is high enough you can start to go in with oak logs and so on but maybe you want to level again the woodworking meanwhile you do so so use your carving knife and create some white or pine art carving over here and then you're good to go okay and that's what you're gonna do the whole time so um, until you can get your first thousand coins for example and that way you can afford the first gnome and the first gnome is i'm not sure where it's located because i forgot it so i go check this resources pretty quick over here gonna go to followers tab and as you can see this guy is for wood cutting costs a thousand coins you need to be uh, he is going to help you with logs until level 10 and he's sitting in mount quabble tappers so in directly in the tappers town over here whenever we are done with all our wood logging uh, stuff we can uh, i guess uh, speak to yondo mondo too and maybe he is somewhere here maybe he's in, in the tappers inn nope he's not so currently he's not here that's funny. So maybe he's directly in the store. Yes, as you can see in the Tapper store over here, here uh, you can get a Lumpy the Gnome for the first thousand coins. Is it worth it? Well, hard to say. So I'm gonna buy him since I want to show you what's going on. You need to go to your bank, select followers in the very top, and you need to assign this Lumpy the Gnome over here. What's going to happen now is when you go to the fields and tr start to chop pine wood or that white pine logs, you're going to see once in a while that Lumpy is going to take some of these logs and bring them into your bank. So what does it mean is your inventory spaces will slower fill up, I believe. We, I am not quite sure, but most of the time now you can see he took 15, carries that 15 logs and stumble at the entire way to, of course, your bank. And you can keep on going with logging or with just wood chopping until, well, I don't know, until your inventory really is full. So once again, Lumpy is not the fastest, so you probably want to stick to someone else later on. But he can help you quite a lot, especially in the beginning when you are going for woodworking and of course 
now we can do pop lar art carving as well so we can stop basically that and can find poplar pine trees or poplar trees to make something else so let's uh, try to find them where the trees are so here are oak trees oak comes after that but here in the quabland woods there is a poplar tree so we can now chop these in the end we're gonna get more experience points for taking poplar as well as lumpy is still going to help us i'm gonna make a poplar art carving over here so i can sell these later on as well and also i can do white pine art carving to sell these as well later on so and you can keep on going and you can cre increase your yeah, all your levels over here in case of woodworking, woodcutting, probably you're gonna level them both at the same time. And so on and so forth. And all of that can be done in rather small amount of time. As you can see, I'm playing the game for like quite an hour right now. So a bit less, maybe 55 minutes. And we are rather good already in case of strength, in case of knifemanship was horrendously fast as well uh, i'm done with that chopping or for this carving over here you can also see the other carvings are giving you more money in return later on i go back to the woods and once again since i need to head north through these trees i need to have wood cutting at level 25 anyways so and that's what you can do with your copper axe just uh, mash down a lot of trees uh, you can also chop them without having one equipped but your efficiency will go down so you probably want to think about that if you really 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 want to unequip that since it doesn't make sense when you are starting fresh basically you want to make sure that you are uh, yeah grow as fast as you can so that's we have probably everything you need to know over here. Once again, everything about the resources docs is going to uh, be in the description. Whenever you have more than enough money, you can go and get more better or yeah, better um, yeah, gnomes actually, as well as you probably want to fight your way through the... Uh, through all the possible ways and routes inside the in inside the swamp and so on and so forth and you want to increase your value as soon as you can as you can see he takes all the poplar logs back or away so we can later on do the carving and we can keep on going and going and going and we have a lot of free space over here and lumpy is going to help us keep our poplar logs away from the inventory and we can keep on chopping until we have our wood cutting skill high enough to go to the next kind of trees in this case it's going to be the oak locks and the downside is with the oak locks uh, lumpy cannot help us with the bringing them away into the bank again be just because well he is only capable to do this until level 10 so whatever this this level requirement over here fits this is the only thing which is going to happen over here so he can help us with poplar logs but he cannot help us with oak logs but once again on the other side whenever you have oak logs uh, you're gonna get more exp in case of wood cutting and you can increase that level even faster so all of that you need to understand this and of course you need to yes check all of that stuff out in here so and once you are happy or once you have enough to for example go and chop through the yeah through this particular trees with your level 25 wood chopping then of course feel free to do so. I'm gonna stop here right now and I could basically go and find the oak trees now in Upper Mount Quapple Trail and I can chop these down as well. Since once again the XP is now 35 per chopped wood and uh, these ones over here are only 24 but also you can see Lumpy cannot, Gnome cannot collect oak logs for you. So what you now need to do is of course you need to bring them back to the like to the shop or you're gonna make some carvings out of it in case of wood uh, working over here as well once again all of that is up to you um, however you want to time this and 
I probably would go and uh, try to increase my knifemanship as well as probably some strengths and uh, try to get meanwhile increasing strengths for example with once again slashing stuff with the hammer getting the way out of uh, actually where this uh, more where you get more nets basically or better nets like a small net medium net large net to increase your um, fishing skill because fishing once again is going to be the best thing you can basically do and I guess this is what you should do uh, whenever you find your way through it and find your way through fishing and stuff like that and when you have your first uh, yeah, logs together, I'm gonna sell all of these because there were eight already. So I got a good amount of gold for these. I'm gonna sell the other ones here as well because I just don't need them at the moment. And I can later on chop even more and even faster with that. Okay, I'm gonna stop the stream over here and we'll continue in uh, some minutes with the next part. And probably we're gonna get some nice fishnet after that. Thanks a lot for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this one and see you in the next part.